no question about it, there is a buzz around the Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball team following its trip to the national championship game down in Dallas. We're going to talk about recruiting Iowa landing a wing for the class of 2024, filling out that 2024 class very nicely. And we'll talk about implications moving forward of potential needs as we move into the 25-26 circuit and maybe even a transfer portal note as well. But first, as always, I want to thank our sponsors. Today, we're going to talk about Iowa floor covering their tough core click together 4.5 millimeter waterproof vinyl flooring, folks. They have been sponsoring and supporting with the work being done here at From the Hawkeye of the Storm for a number of months now. Consider supporting our sponsor, especially if you have any questions about flooring. Just give the guys down in Bondurant a call. Visit their website for contact information to learn more about this self-installation flooring available at 269 per foot with self-installation great rate visit iowafloorcovering.com slash diy and ascent nutrition and their awesome products including their new agaricon and lion's mane mushroom products you can read about all the effects the positive effects of these great new products by visiting goascentnutrition.com and by the way those mushroom products are great with smoothies yogurts etc visit goascentnutrition.com and don't forget about that code hawkeyes we keep extending that for our hawkeye listeners out there Use that code Hawkeyes for 15% off your total order and get yourself some coffee while you're on that website as well. GoAscentNutrition.com. So we're here to talk about the Hawkeyes and the Iowa women landing wing Tegan Mullaney from the state of Wisconsin. She's a top 60 guard slash forward. She's listed at six foot one. As I said, she is. Uh, considered a top 60 prospect in that 24 class, according to ESPN. What does Tegan bring to the table? First of all, you watch her on tape. She reminds me a lot of McKenna Warnock, and it's easy to say that when you have a couple of players that are about 6'1", 6'2". He's from the state of Wisconsin. Of course, uh, Madison, the hometown of McKenna Warnock. Tegan is from the town of McFarland, Wisconsin. And uh, again, both of these players have a similar style of game. Uh, you look at McKenna Warnock, she has been so productive for this squad, and she, of course, is passing up on her final year of eligibility to pursue dental school, and we wish McKenna Warnock the best. But one thing that made McKenna Warnock special, she was fundamentally sound. She wasn't going to blow you away with speed or burst or quickness. She's a solid rebounder for her height, and she can knock down threes. And that's basically what Mulaney gives you. I watched her on tape, watched quite a few uh, highlight sessions and whatnot from Mulaney. And again, you can only read so far into highlight film. She really does give you a nice stroke from three. She is someone who gets the ball off quick. That's not usually a problem on the women's side of the game. A quick release is not usually an issue, and it's certainly not for Tegan Mulaney. She's someone who can hit shots in transition, hit shots off the dribble. Again, she's not going to blow you away with her burst to the basket or her ability to dribble, her ball handling, etc. She can get by just fine. She knows how to run the court. Obviously, she's going to run a lot if she's playing at Iowa and potentially for a year with Caitlin Clark and company. Uh, but again, she's just going to give you fundamental play and someone who can knock down threes. And that's kind of what you want with Lisa Bluter's offense. Now, defensively, there are question marks, just like there are with a lot of Lisa Bluter recruits. Defense has not been the strength of this program. I don't know that it ever will be, but as we saw this past season through March, this women's basketball team can survive with average to below average defense because of spark plugs like Caitlin Clark. Now, they don't come around every year or every 10 years or every 25 years, but I think Lisa Bluter is content with loading up on shooters. So if Clark decides to stay for five full years, that would just be her last year of eligibility. So at some point, I, I don't know if this style of recruiting is sustainable. I think I was going to have to figure out a way to recruit better defensive players. But at the same time, they've had success pre Caitlin Clark. I mean, you think about the years of Sam Logic or Megan Gustafson, Allie Disterhoff. They've recruited really good fundamental players that maybe weren't the most athletic or the biggest. And they found ways to have success, kind of like what the men have done, except now Lisa Bluter and the women uh, have had real success in the NCAA tournament. So I digress. This is a good pickup for Iowa. She's considered a four-star recruit, according to ESPN. Again, she's from McFarland, Wisconsin. She gives you three-point shooting. She gives you good fundamentals. She can handle the ball just fine. Not elite, I wouldn't say, uh, with her ability to, to take her defender off the dribble. She's a good rebounder. But again, 
We're talking about highlight film. We'll see how it translates. One thing I can't tell on film, and I don't think anybody can tell just looking through highlight film, one thing we can't tell is what kind of a competitor is Tegan Mullaney. And my guess is if you asked her coaches or her or her family, they would all say she's quite a competitor because uh, I don't think Lisa Bluter, Jan Jensen, and company would be pursuing her if it weren't for her ability to compete and her desire to compete. But it's different once you get to the Big Ten, obviously. So let's take a look. Let's just review these next couple of classes. Keep in mind that in this 23-24 class, you've got Ava Jones, the 6'2 forward out of Kansas, who uh, we know tragically lost her father in an accident here. What was that, around a year ago, maybe a little less? She, of course, is tr still trying to work her way back. Will she ever be able to play? Uh, we sure hope so, but I think you've got to kind of temper expectations, but she will be on scholarship. Uh, Kenise Johnson, ETN, a 5'8 point. She'll be here as well. Gives you a little bit more quickness in the backcourt. Uh, she'll be here this coming season. Will they grab somebody in the transfer portal? That's possible. We did get confirmation that Iowa had reached out to Anissa Morrow, the big from DePaul, with Shatea Wettering uh, entering the transfer portal. So there's noteworthy news out of the portal. And then, of course, in that 24 class, you've got Callie Levine. You've got Tegan Mullaney. You've got the big from Oregon, Ava Hyden, and you've got Taylor Stremlow, another really talented Wisconsin product. Boy, Iowa does great up in the state of Wisconsin on the women's uh, recruiting circuit. No commits yet for 25-26. I'm guessing that will begin to demand quite a bit of the staff's attention now that uh, it appears the 24-25 class is uh, complete with a fourth ad, couple guards, couple forward slash uh, wing. Uh, consider Mulaney more of a, a guard slash forward or a wing. So a good-looking class, and they've got more work to do in the portal. And, boy, you could really boost the athleticism if you could grab someone like Anissa Morrow or even Lauren Betts out of Stanford. We'll wait and see. My guess is they'll use the scholarship, folks. I don't think you run with an open scholarship. I don't know how you possibly could defend doing that, given Caitlin Clark and her effect and the fact that this is her true senior season coming up. We've talked about that. We'll continue to talk about it. But wanted to check in with you to talk about the commitment of Tegan Mullaney out of Wisconsin. Those are my initial uh, takeaways from watching some film of Tegan and excited for her. And obviously recruiting rankings tell you something. She is a good, solid prospect according to most metrics. And we'll look forward to her getting to Iowa next summer. Appreciate you tuning in for another segment here from the Hawkeye of the Storm. A reminder to check out all of our sponsors in the description. Leave your comments about what you think of this women's basketball recruiting class and Tegan Mullaney specifically. Join in the conversation below with your comments and be sure to hit that like button on your way out. We'll talk to you soon.